Hi, thank you for joining me. My name is Jolene Morris, and in this video, I will show you how I make my recipe for lupin flour pastry. My grandmother, Milda Holt Murray, was famous for her pies, both her meat pies and her dessert pies. She made these pies at her restaurant, the Chickadee, on State Street in Salt Lake City, and later made the pies at her home and sold them for extra income. The recipe I share with you here is her pastry recipe, only I've modified it for strict keto. Although pastry can be made by hand or using a pastry cutter and rolling pin, I use tools and equipment every chance I get. I collect tools and equipment, like others collect stamps or coins. I enjoy cooking, but I don't love spending hours in my kitchen making dinner. As such, I'll make this loop and flour pastry with the following equipment. I make my pastry in a food processor. I use a Ninja 9 cup food processor with its dough hook. Did you know that the food processor was first invented in the early 1970s? So there was no such thing as a food processor when I was growing up. Pastry always needs to be refrigerated before rolling it out or cutting it into shapes. Instead of wrapping my pastry in cling wrap, which is usually done, I put it in a two-cup silicone tray and then put it in the fridge. Using a square container really helps when I want to divide the pie into equal-sized pieces. I don't use a rolling pin to flatten my pastry dough. Instead, I use a tortilla press. For more information about the tools, equipment, and ingredients I use in this recipe, refer to the video description below. If you are new to using lupin flour, be sure to watch my video on why I prefer lupin flour, which contains important information and cautions about using lupin flour. Lupin flour has a heavy, earthy flavor, so it doesn't work well as the only flour in pastry dough. I need to mix it about half and half with another flour or protein powder. Here are the recipe ingredients for lupin flour pastry. As I said on the previous slide, lupin flour is too heavy and earthy tasting to work well in pastry by itself. This recipe calls for two and a half cups lupin flour, but I only use one and a half cups lupin flour, and then I supplement the remaining one cup with other flours or proteins. I use whey protein powder, or einken flour, or arrowroot flour, or pecan flour, or bamboo flour, or even King Arthur keto flour. My favorite is einkorn flour, which is an ancient grain without the modern-day genetic modifications, but it does have gluten. It may be tolerated by those slightly sensitive to wheat, but not by those with celiac disease. Instead of einkorn flour, my next choices are whey protein powder and bamboo flour. These are the instructions for making lupin flour pastry in a food processor. Be very careful not to add too much water. Mix just enough so that the dough forms, and then stop. Let me show you how I prepare this pastry. I'm using my Ninja 9 cup food processor. It comes with a dough blade. Place your desired flour combination into the food processor. I'm using lupin flour and whey protein powder. Add one teaspoon salt and one half teaspoon xanthan gum. Pulse to mix the flour, salt, and xanthan gum. Mm -hmm. 
Now let me get out the cold, wet ingredients from the fridge. Add the cold butter to the flour mixture. and pulse until it's mixed. When properly mixed, it will resemble wet breadcrumbs. Just don't pulse too much or you'll melt the butter. Turn the food processor on low and add the beaten egg slowly. one tablespoon vinegar, and the optional one-half teaspoon butter flavoring until it's almost dough. The dough will form almost instantly. It will be crumbs one second and dough the next. You want a sticky dough, but you don't want it so sticky that it sticks to your fingers. Slowly add a tablespoon or two of water. Remove the dough from the food processor. I added about a tablespoon too much water. It will be all right, but it's a bit too sticky. I'll use some flour on the counter as I remove the dough. See how it's sticking to my fingers? A bit too much water. But it will be better once it's refrigerated. Put the dough in a square silicone tray. You could wrap it in cling wrap instead, but the square silicone tray is much better. For now, put the dough in the fridge for one to two hours or overnight.
And there you have it, lupin flour pastry, ready to make either savory or sweet pies. I generally leave the pastry in the fridge overnight and make the pies the next day. Thank you for joining me today for a video on how I make my lupin flour pastry. Next, you should watch this video. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, and if appropriate, click the like button below this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.